one year sober. We're talking about it. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Carson, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, we are going to be reacting to Demi Lovato's Sorry Not Sorry rock version. Now, since my last Demi Lovato reaction, a few things have happened. For one, we are getting a full rock version album from Demi. It's kind of giving Eras vibes, and I'm not too upset about it. But also, I hit one year sober. And um, I posted about it on the community tab on YouTube and on my social media pages and received so much support. So I just want to take a second to say thank you for that. It really means a lot to me. This year was really difficult and we're going to discuss some of that in this video. But not yet. You gotta, gotta stick around for that. Before we jump into the reaction, I want to let you guys know that we do have memberships now on this channel. So if you want to become a member and get early access to my YouTube videos, consider clicking that join button. And of course, if you want the extended version of this reaction, go to my Patreon. It'll be the first link in the description. But with that said, let's jump into the reaction. <laughs> yeah, okay, hold on. That voice in the beginning was not Demi Lovato. Who was that? Oh, oh, okay. So uh, this is also featuring Slash. I know they're very popular in, in the rock sphere. I don't know much about them. I'm going to be sh straight up with you guys. I don't know nothing about Slash, but I I've heard the name a bit. So I'm kind of aware of who we're talking about here. I'm excited to hear this. Interesting. I can hear the lyrics better, and I don't know if that's because I'm listening to the lyric video or because Demi's enunciation has gotten better with more diction. <laughs> Wait, I have to explain that for a second. I say diction like that because my high school vocal teacher did that a lot. If you went to my high school, you know exactly who I'm talking about. <laughs> But back to my point, I don't know if it's because I'm listening to the lyric version and I can see the lyrics in front of me and I'm able to process it easier, or if Demi's just enunciating more. Either way, I didn't realize how intense these lyrics are. I completely forgot about that, so it's nice to be refreshing my memory on that. Ooh, okay. Okay. I thought that was gonna be a headbang moment and it, it wasn't for me, but I do like the little brief silence there. Um, it was a very unique way of producing the song and the lyric video, I have to say, is it's kind of an aesthetic. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's kind of cool. <laughs> this is the headbang moment. Okay, got it. <laughs> I loved a headbang. I don't know if that's obvious. You know, in like rave culture, I would be considered a bass head. I love, I love headbanging. I just love it so much. <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> this is really interesting. I am kind of vibing with this. And I'll be honest, Sorry Not Sorry was not my favorite single by Demi Lovato. I was kind of unhyped by that song. And the reason why I say that was because it just felt like manufactured in a way, but I'm enjoying the song now way more, like this version of the song, I'm enjoying this more. And that's exciting because you can tell when an artist is like putting out crap they don't wanna be putting out, right? And as someone who does creative stuff, I, I like having control over my, my creative process. That's been a big thing for me. So I can empathize with that in a way where, you know, I'm just glad that Demi's doing what they wanna do now. Okay, I'm just gonna say this. Um, in my time filming reaction videos, um, I have learned that the term savage is actually not a good term to use um, because it is offensive to people of indigenous descent. So um, I've personally been working to try to remove that from my language, my dictionary, my brain. Did that make any sense there? What the heck am I on? Okay. My lexicon, that's the word I was looking for. I've tried to remove that from my lexicon as best I can, but in moments like this, I will say it to simply say, maybe learn the history of that word and reflect on whether or not you want to be saying that. It's important that we all learn how words affect people. Words are powerful. And as a writer, I, I understand that so much so. And in fact, I've never shared this, a lot of um, my writing 
started because I had learned the hard way how words can hurt and cause so much harm to people in a situation that I don't think I will ever share publicly unless the other person were to talk about it um, because it, it's not my place in my opinion to bring that to light. With that being said though, I think that it's important to have conversations like this and I know that a good majority of you are probably white watching this um, because I see the comments, I see profile pictures and it's important that, you know, it's since my audience is pretty white that I, if I do bring up race issues that I'm bringing it up from the perspective of, hey, we don't want to hurt people, right? What's the point of that? What's the reason? What is the reason? You know what I mean? But also just trying to be respectful. It's important to me. Demi has done a lot to support people of color and I think that's amazing that she chooses to do that and that she uses her platform for that. So I think that's part of the reason why I'm also bringing this up because I think she wrote this at a time not being aware of that. And hopefully she's aware of it now. I'm not going to judge her on that because I don't think a lot of people are aware of what that word is. But um, it's just something I wanted to bring up. Ooh, I love the change up there. Okay. Ready? Oh my god. The only times I miss having long hair is when I do that. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's just, let, let's stop the teasing. Let's actually get into the sober update life stuff. Okay. Whew, where do I begin with this? First of all, um, when you're sober, that's a major accomplishment. And on the day of, and when I posted the posts that I made and everything. It didn't feel real. I didn't feel like proud of myself. And I feel like the reason was because I had hit two years sober before. So I thought, oh, one year sober, I've been here before. It's not, it's no big deal. And so many people had to remind me, no, Carson, this is a big deal. This is, this is incredible. And I just couldn't feel that, you know? I, I still don't really fully feel that. And the reason why um, is also the reason why I have delayed filming this video. My urges to drink have been very strong lately but um uh, hmm. i um sorry i'm just trying to figure out how i want to discuss this next part um i have a younger sibling and i you know i i usually keep family out of these things i keep them away from the social media stuff they're they're really private people and i want to respect that but this is really important, so I'm gonna quickly touch on this. Um, I met up with my younger sibling, and uh, my younger sibling finally opened up to me about how my drinking affected them. And I was really grateful that they did that. I, you know, explained that that was one of my biggest regrets, having them take care of me. I apologized, and we had a good talk, and since then, even though my urges have been very intense lately, I've been not wanting to do it at the same time, you know? Like I, like, I feel this urge to drink, and then I see an image in my head of my younger sibling telling me everything that they said recently, and I just couldn't do it. I couldn't justify it in my body, and my heart, and my mind, and my soul. And the craving would dissipate. And I'm not saying this to say that my sibling is the reason I'm not drinking right now. I'm saying this to say that sometimes taking the accountability that you need to take can really help put things into perspective and can help you make better choices. Accountability has always been a big thing for me. I've always been the type of person to take accountability, sometimes even to a fault. And in my addiction, it's been the same. But this felt like the first time where I could properly take accountability, where the conversation was healthy and productive, rather than being told that I should go and alive myself, um, which if you're like, whoa, Carson, where did that come from? Uh, clearly you did not watch my first Demi Lovato reactions. Uh, that's a whole story in and of itself. But basically to wrap this whole thing up, I'm doing okay. And even though I am struggling with some cravings this week, I know that I've got things in place. I am working with some new people and getting more comfortable discussing things with them. My life is changing in a lot of ways right now, both good and bad. And I think that 
if it wasn't for the good things, I would focus so hard on the bad. And I'm grateful for the good things that are coming into my life. I'm grateful for the changes that I know are happening very soon. And I would love to chat with you guys about them when they happen. But just for my sanity and to not jinx myself, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop it there. Thank you for always hearing my side. And thank you all for always listening and sharing your positive feedback about my journey. It helps more than you know. And to those who have ever shown concern, I appreciate you too, more than you know. Thank you. All right, let's get back into the reaction. Ooh. Yeah, okay. I like this, I like this a lot. Let's hear this. What? Is Slash playing the guitar? Because holy f You're hearing this, right? Oh my god! I got chills. I'm gonna need a minute for this one. The next day. That guitar solo? That was so unexpected. Like I'm I have chills from that. That was so good. If that was if that was slash. Holy smokes, you are talented on the guitar. My God. Ultimately, I think that this song is better as a rock song. I think a lot of Debbie songs, I think will be really, really good as rock songs. I'm so excited for Revamped and of course I'm gonna be reacting to it, but my God, it is, it is something. I, I'm glad I finally got the chance to sit down and do this video. I feel like there's a weight off my shoulders and sharing what I share today and also, finally listening to the song, the way I've been avoiding it on social media has been a mess, you know what I mean? But yeah, I'm really glad that you all voted for this song to be reacted to. I'm glad you guys want to know these updates and that at the end of the day, that these videos are hopefully helping people who are in similar situations to me. And again, if you are struggling with mental health, addiction, anything like that, I'll have some resources in the description for you to reach out and get support because I'm not a mental health professional and I just want you all to be safe and happy and loved and living the best life possible. And I'm gonna repeat something that I said in the post that I made about my one year sober day. Um, as long as you're still breathing, there's a chance of recovery which I actually got from Jessica Kent, who also does addiction style content and um, highly re recommend her if you wanna check that out. But yeah, with that said, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell to be notified whenever I upload. If you want more from me, including my poetry, you can check me out on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and threads. All of those are at Carson Bodie. If you want to support me in creating content like this, you can click the join button down below. You can go to my Patreon and support me that way, or you can check out my book or my merch, all with the links in the description. Now I gotta go get ready because I'm going to an event tonight but I will see you all with another reaction video soon. Bye guys.